name is Scott Inger. Welcome to your 19th Blender 2.6 tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be adding our logic uh, controls so we can actually play our game and move around. So let's open up Blender 2.6. This will probably be a two part thing. So let's open up our world, blend. And I'm just going to go into full screen mode. And we have our box selected, and we have our uh, logic area right down here. So I just want to zoom in here, and I want to position that at the top. And essentially, this logic is going to control how the box moves. So I want to add a sensor, and we're going to make this keyboard sensor, and we're going to add an AND controller. And for an actual waiter, we're going to do motion, I believe. Yes. And then we're just going to drag a line in between all of these. And let's just make this first. Uh, this first one's going to be forward. And then make this one forward. And forward. Okay, and I can just make that one small. And for keys, if I'm just gonna use the arrow keys and press A, the up arrow. And then once I've done that, you can just uh, minimize that. And then you can go over here, and for our forward motion, we're gonna use one of these, and we're gonna be using the simple motion type. We're not going to use location or rotation, we're going to use linear velocity. And we're going to go on the y, and we're going to put 0.1 because I've experimented with this before. And it, if you do like 1 or something, it accelerates way too fast. So I'm going to make this local and, add, uh, and press the add button. I guess it's additive almost. Okay, so let's go into our camera mode up, or camera view up here. I'm gonna just click over here and I'm gonna click start game. And now we should be able to move forward and we'll accelerate, but it won't stop. So I'm just gonna stop that before I go off the edge and get out of that. And we're just gonna add our a new sensor, you're going to make it to keyboard, we're going to add a new AND sensor and add a new um, motion sensor. I'm going to make this negative 0.1 over here, just local additive, and click here, I'm going to drag that across and make this backward. Backward and backward. You can even use the WASD keys if you want, but I prefer to use the arrow keys. And now I believe all of our motion settings are set up for backward. So let's quickly just go in there and check that. Backwards and we can move forwards. Keep in mind that uh, you won't stop immediately. So however fast you start going, it's going to take a while to stop. And we don't have turning, but I think I believe I'll do that in the next tutorial. Okay, and I'm just going to drag that down a little bit, bring that up so I can see it there. I'm just going to hit Control S to save and get out of my full screen mode. And thank you guys for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed these tutorials. Please like or share with your friends. Thank you for watching. Bye.